triethyl, three methyl decane. Now, let's actually go to your homework and we're going to figure out or actually do a couple of the homework problems. So I'm going to get the book over here out of the way a little bit and get a piece of paper so that you can actually see how I approach these problems. And the first one we're going to do is number one, letter A. So let's, let's go ahead and start out with this chain. And I'm going to leave out the hydrogens when I rewrite it. Now this is the way I want you to do your homework. So I'm modeling for you how to do this. This is number one. We're on page 704. And so we're doing number 1A. So here we go. This guy has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbons. So I'm going to write the carbon backbone here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me make sure that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. So I got 6 carbons in the chain. When I go two over from this end, when I go into the second one off the end, I have one carbon here, and then I have another carbon here. Now, let's see if we can name this. Our longest chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That makes it a hexane. And then I have methyls on, let's see, which end is going to be number 1? We go in 1, 2, 3, the third carbon before we get to a substituent. Now we go from this end, we only go in one, and we get a carbon. So this carbon right here is going to be number one. And so let's number these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the main chain. Now you can see how these methyls stick out. And it's very easy to identify them. So I'm going to have a two, four. What's the prefix for two of them? Yeah, that's right. Dimethyl. Whoops, I forgot to put it in the 2, 4. It's 2, 4, 2, comma, 4. Dimethyl, and because there's six carbons, it's a hexane. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to the second one, and let's see how that one works out. This one has... A chain going across one, two, three, four, five. So let's draw a five carbon chain here. One, two, three, four, five. And we have a carbon up here. Uh, we have two carbons on the second one in, one above and one below. So we've got a carbon here, and we've got a carbon down here. And then we have one, two over. We got another guy. He's one off the end, so I got that right. And there's my other carbon. Okay, I can I can make this chain go from here to here to here to here to here. I can start here and go on up. I can start here and go across. They all have the same number, five. So we know it's going to be a pentane, and let's just decide on where we're going to have the main chain. And why don't we just do it straight across? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Now, where are our substituents? Oh, where's going to be uh, end number one? Then number one, let's see, we go in one here, and we got two guys. We go in one here, we got two guys. So, or one guy, and now it really doesn't matter. We can name the, either one can be uh, end number one. So why don't we do end number one over here for the front of it? One, two, three. This is carbon four, and this guy is carbon five. So this is going to be two, four, four, two. We have to say four twice because there's two methyl groups on carbon number four. And this is going to be tri for a total of three methyl groups. Trimethyl, they're all methyls.
and it's a pentane, P-E-N-T-A-N-E. -E. So four four, I'm sorry, two four four trimethyl pentane. I think you're probably starting to get a little bit of a handle on this. Uh, let's go the other way now. Let's look at question number two. And in question number two, we're given uh, a name, and that name is 2.